Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and in this video, I wanted to show you an effective way of storing lures, especially jig heads, uh, flare hawk jigs, bucktail jigs, or even lures that you may have already pre rigged, you know, soft plastics on jig heads, or even just regular worm hooks. If you have your lures ready to go, rigged up, and you want to keep them in one place without the risk of them, you know, touching each other, getting melted together, or getting tangled up. So this is a do-it-yourself uh, little thing I did here. Pretty much based it on the same uh, principle of fly boxes. You know, it's just an open case that has foam on the bottom, and then you can actually put the hooks of your lures into the foam and that will keep them in place. So essentially what I have here is basically an oversized uh, fly box. And as you can see here, I have about, I'd say two to three pounds of uh, flare hawk jigs in this box that I made. Uh, it's got EVA foam on the bottom. I'm going to talk about the supplies here in a second that you need, but EVA foam on the bottom, glued to the bottom of this box. And as you can see, those lures aren't going anywhere. And especially with jigs that have skirts on them, such as flare hawks and bucktails, just like flies, you don't want them to get uh, messed up. You don't want the tails to get all twisted and turned uh, because that can affect the actual look of the lure when it's underwater. So if you can keep them nice and organized without running the risk of them getting you know, distorted or uh, messed up, definitely a plus. So now let's go ahead and talk about what you need to make your own box uh, for this. So you just need a standard, you know, plastic box, ideally a box that doesn't have any slots in it. You know, your standard uh, tackle boxes will have slots where you can put uh, dividers and all that. I prefer a box that is just an open storage utility type of box. And you can get all these supplies from your local craft store, such as like Hobby Lobby, uh, Joanne Fabrics, Michaels, and places like that. So I actually got this box from one of those stores and also the foam itself. That's the most important thing. Uh, this is EVA foam. This is 10 millimeters thick and they usually uh, sell them in sheets. This was 20 by 40. So you have plenty of foam there to play with if you want to make multiple boxes uh, for different lures. So again, you need the box, you need the foam, and then you need something to glue the foam down into the box and what i found that works really well is this gorilla glue spray adhesive and when you use this you want to spray it into the box where you're going to glue the foam down onto and then you actually want to spray it onto the foam itself and you're going to let it sit for about a minute till it becomes tacky and then you're going to put it into the box so make sure you pre-cut your foam before you put it into the box obviously you want it shaped uh, properly so you could take a piece of cardboard or a piece of paper put it inside the box and sort of trace the outline of the inside and then trace it onto the foam cut the foam with either scissors or a hobby knife or a razor blade cuts it very well and then you can put the box together now once you have the box made and the glue is dry then you can start putting your lures in and you can see how simple it is you see I've got this uh, bucktail jig here all you have to do is push it into the foam pull down and that lure is not going anywhere nice and secure and one thing I recommend is when you do put the hook into the foam make sure the barb is you know fully into the foam or else it may slide out especially if you're using heavier jig heads where if you turn the box upside down uh, like so you may run the risk of it sliding out if the barb of the hook's not into that foam now one other thing this foam inside the box is really good for is if you plan on staging your lures and what I mean by that is if you have some soft plastics that you want to already have rigged up on jig heads or hooks and you have some other different lures that you're planning on using throughout the day you could have it all in one box and they won't get tangled up they'll be separated they won't be touching each other that way you know they don't run the risk of melting onto each other especially with some of these uh, soft plastics that react with other plastics. Uh, it'll just help alleviate that risk of those plastics getting damaged and they'll be you know, easily, easily accessible and ready to go. So you can see I have a few lures here on this piece of foam. I don't have this foam in the box, obviously. Just, this is just for a demonstration, but you can see I have a gold spoon. I have a, a pre-rigged shrimp lure. I have our Alabama Leprechaun on a twist lock hook a mirror lure, a uh, jig head, and then another uh, jig head here with a slam shady bait on it. 
So you can have multiple different lures all on this foam ready to go in one box instead of having to dig around uh, for a different lure that you're looking for and want to use throughout the day. So great way for organizing your tackle as well. Now, even though lures are very important when it comes to catching fish, what's most important is actually being able to find fish in your area. So if you need help doing that, highly recommend checking out our Salt Strong Insider Club at saltstrong.com. And in addition to us being able to help you find and catch more fish, you actually get some really good discounts on all sorts of tackle, products, lures, accessories, rods and reels, and everything like that. And you get up to a 30% discount if you are one of our Insider members. So definitely worth checking out. So that will wrap up this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Till next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. If you are new to Salt Strong, we are the largest online fishing club for saltwater anglers and we guarantee you two things. Number one, you'll start catching more fish in less time. And number two, you will save a ton of money on your favorite tackle and gear with discounts available exclusively for our members. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com and we'll see you there. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live Salt Strong and where the lines are dead.